Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we're going to learn how to draw dirt, which I know doesn't sound super glamorous, but it's one of those skills that really makes your drawing go from basic to professional. And this video is part of a digital art course that I designed as a month-long YouTube series, so it is totally free. And you can definitely choose to only watch this one specific video if all you care about is how to draw dirt. Or you can take on the challenge of improving our art skills by drawing along with the community every day. And if you want to do that, make sure to check out my website where the full schedule for the entire challenge is going to be. And also make sure to subscribe as well as ring the bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming textures that are going to be part of this course. All you need for this tutorial is some sort of a digital art software and I will be using Procreate on the iPad Pro. But you can definitely use pretty much anything that has layers in it. So Photoshop, Corel Painter, Krita, Affinity Designer. Honestly, most mainstream and not even like that mainstream <laughs> digital art software uh, will do for this tutorial. I will be suggesting just really basic digital art brushes. So basically the one that come with your software, they're definitely gonna work. And I will also include a free color palette in the description below, but otherwise you can pick your own colors if that's more what you're into. And if you are watching this video in uh, the course, you also need to set aside, I would say, 5 to 15 minutes to really practice your dirt texture depending on whether you're on day 11 or 12 of the program. And with that being said, let's start drawing. So go ahead and start by creating a new canvas. And for this project, the dimensions don't really matter since we're just practicing. Um, I recommend higher than 2000 per 2000, just so you can actually see what you're doing without getting too many um, pixels in a way. But honestly, other than that, doesn't matter that much. Once you have your canvas, go ahead and set the background color. To practice texture, I highly recommend a neutral color. So if you have the palette, all the three colors on the right are neutral grays. I'm going with the lightest one, but you can pick any one that you like. And once that is done, go ahead and create a new layer that you're going to rename to base. And since dirt is fairly simple, we're not going to create all our layers at first. We're just going to draw them um, one by one. So on your base layer, you're going to go and select your base color that you want for your dirt. So I'm going with the top left color in the palette, but basically you just want a brown. And you're going to pick a brush that has not a whole lot of texture to it. I mean, it could even be just like a regular ink and brush. I quite like the dry ink brush from Procreate, but it doesn't matter that much. And you're going to draw the shape that you want to use first. So if you're following the program and if you're on day 11, you're going to draw a circle for the sphere. But otherwise, it's probably going to be more of an organic, random, shapeless shape. <laughs> Once you have your base, go ahead and create a new layer. This one you're going to apply it as a clipping mask and what that does is basically everything you draw on this layer, which you're going to rename to shadows by the way, it's going to stay within the shape of the base. So you won't have to erase or like worry about staying within the shape, it's going to do it by itself. And you're also going to pick a darker version of your brown color and you're going to draw some shadows. And in real life the shadows you would get would probably be from the environment, so like the trees, the rocks, the grass around. Um, but if you're drawing a sphere just to practice the texture, it's going to be this crescent moon shape. But depending on what you do, just think about where your shadows would be and simply draw them. And when I say simply draw them, I really mean just like go ahead and squiggle, it doesn't matter because you're then going to use the smudge tool set to a brush that has a lot of texture. So you can see here I'm using the stucco brush from Procreate. But any brush that has texture, you can set as your smudge tool, which is the icon with the finger. And you can then move your color around and just make it blend a little bit more, but also stay rough and kind of dirt looking with some textures in it. And uh, yeah, texture is definitely going to be the, um, the keyword in this tutorial, but that's what you want with dirt. You want something that has a lot of texture. Speaking of which, um, we're going to add even more of that texture <laughs> using a charcoal brush. I'm using the Compress Charcoal from Procreate, but most software come with basic charcoal brush. So just pick one that you feel works well for this and put more emphasis on the darker shadows. So you're going to add more grain, more texture, <laughs> but you're also going to make your shadows a bit deeper, which is going to help with just the feel of the piece in general. Speaking of which, to really help the dirt feel more alive, I highly recommend adding some lights. So go ahead and create a new layer that you're going to rename to lights and you're going to change the blending mode of this layer to overlay, keeping the opacity to 100%. 
You're also going to apply this layer as a clipping mask. And this time you're going to select a like, banana yellow type of color that you're just going to gently brush over some parts of your dirt. So if you're drawing the sphere, it's probably going to be the top part of your sphere. But if you're just drawing a patch of dirt, go ahead and think where the sun would hit on the ground. So if it's in the forest, you're probably going to have some, some spots that kind of like where the sun shines through the leaves. If it's out in the open, you're going to get sun pretty much everywhere. So just keep that in mind. Keep your environment and even the time of the day in mind when you're adding lights. And uh, once more, you can use a smudge tool. I quite like to leave some parts with like the full on charcoal texture and some of the parts just blend them in a little bit. So it's um, you just get a wider range of things happening in there. And at this point, there is a good amount of texture and everything, but we're gonna add even more. So go ahead and create a texture layer that you're going to rename to texture. This one also is a clipping mask, but you might wanna put it below the light and the shadows. Uh, you can experiment with both, that's totally up to you. Um, I quite like putting it below it. And you're then going to select some sort of burnt orange that you're just going to randomly draw spots of um, just in different areas of your dirt. Um, we're later going to lower the opacity of this layer, but just so we see properly what we're doing, right now it's 100%. Um, and you're also going to select a very dark brown to go and do the same thing. So just drawing random spots uh, all over your dirt. And doing that is going to really help reinforce this idea that, you know, we're not drawing like just plastic or something super uh, synthetic here. We're drawing something that is organic and that is that has a lot of color variation, a lot of uh, luminosity variation, saturation variation. That's really what we want here. So just like I was saying, uh, once you're done drawing your spots, go ahead and lower your opacity. I would say somewhere between 30 and 50 percent is probably what's going to look good. I'm going with 41 percent, but <laughs> you don't have to be this precise. And as you can see, it creates this really cool texture that has like different hues in it and that's definitely something that's going to help make your dirt look re more realistic. Another thing that's going to help is adding some rocks and other little elements in it. So go ahead and create a new layer. This one is not going to be a clipping mask because we want our rocks to be a little bit all over the place. And we're going to use pretty much any brush that you want. I'm using the dry ink brush uh, because it does have some little grains in it but not too much. Um, but you can use literally any brush that you're used to using and that you know you're comfortable with. And you can also use any color um, that you want. If you're using the palette, there's a whole section of grayish brown that you can use. I'm using the middle one right now to just sprinkle some rocks all around. And once you have a little bit of rock sprinkles everywhere, uh, we're also going to make these rocks feel a bit more interesting because right now they're super flat and you kind of lose them. So get a dark brown again you can just use a dark gray if your rocks you've been drawing them gray and you're just going to kind of create shadows on the bottom of those rocks so super simple you don't want to be too precise here again we're drawing dirt so we kind of want something that is rough um, but yeah you're just going to draw your shadows and of course also you're going to draw some little lights so selecting a lighter version of your gray or your brown or whichever color you've been using for your rocks you're just going to add some lights on some of the rocks i try to keep my light on the rocks that are actually in the like the sun areas just to kind of amplify this idea but you can draw lights on all the rocks if if you want Another cool thing that you can add is little blades of grass. And that's kind of a sneak peek of the next tutorial in a very, very simple way. <laughs> um, but it does make a big difference because it added pops of, uh, a pop of color, I should say. So go ahead and create another layer if you want to do that. Rename it to grass and just select a, like a grass color, <laughs> so some sort of green. And without going into too many details, just sprinkle some tiny blade of grass. I like regrouping them, sorry, in groups of one to three. I know one is not a group, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Um, I just feel like it looks better. And if they're just like all alone, just like a bunch of single blade of grass, it looks like weird fur to me. 
and that is not the first tutorial we already did this one but anyway um <laughs> and one other thing that i like to do is selecting a darker version of my green and kind of outlining the blades that i have just so that uh no matter on like no matter the, the color they're on top one of the shade is going to pop so it just adds uh, some depth in your piece another thing that you can do to add a little bit more texture and like just life in your dirt is to add some little sticks so go ahead and create a stick layer and for this one the color honestly it's again sort of a the same type of color that we've been using for the rocks so a grayish brown and this stage really you're just drawing little lines that are super scribbly all over your dirt and this layer is a really good one if you want to play with blending modes a little bit we didn't do that a lot in this tutorial but you can definitely try a bunch of different blending modes to see what you like to um like your stick if it can help blend them in the dirt so that they look a bit more integrated in the piece i quite like soft light and then lowering the opacity but you could go with something like multiply and it would just have a different feel but it will also look good and you can see it adds a lot but also it's very simple and it's not like overpowering either uh whatever that is it's late i need to stop recording a voiceover i don't know what i'm saying anymore but you get the point <laughs> so this was how to draw a some sort of dirt texture in any digital art software if you are following the program which again is linked in the description below and you are on day 11 make sure to come back to this video tomorrow and use the same technique but this time to draw some dirt in context if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos like this one every week, especially during the month of January, where we're going to cover a total of 13 different textures spread across 5 teams. So make sure not to miss that and I will see you soon.